Welcome back to day four of the Break Free Challenge. I really loved all the tags I got yesterday from you ladies showing me how you destroyed your letters to your husband's ex-wives. How good did that feel? Today we're going to switch gears a little bit. We're not going to directly be talking about your step family. But in order for your step family to function at its highest level, today's work is super, super important. How many times have you felt like no matter what you did for your husband or your stepchildren, they still didn't appreciate you or even acknowledge you. Maybe sometimes you feel like the maid. You clean up after everyone else without so much as a thank you. It's just expected of you. Maybe sometimes you feel like a glorified babysitter. Your husband gets his kids for the weekend, but you're the one who's left to drive them to appointments, take them to soccer, keep them entertained while your husband goes and plays golf with his buddies. Listen, I know that you only have the best of intentions. You might think, well, if I don't clean up, then who will? Or you might say, if I don't cook, then my stepkids are gonna be eating chicken nuggets for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Maybe your husband is going through a lot of stress at work and you're just trying to lessen the burden on him by making sure everything is taken care of. Maybe you're just trying to prove to your husband and to his kids that you do belong with them. You want to win the kids over and you really want your husband to see that. But what if I told you that this doesn't really work? I'm speaking from experience when I say trying to be a super stepmom will just leave you feeling burnt out and resentful. When I played super stepmom, I felt like the more I did, the less everybody noticed me. It's time today to put an end to it. It's time that you break free of this, especially if you feel like nobody appreciates anything that you do. One of the most important things I do in my work with my private clients is we create household rules, roles, and responsibilities so that the day-to-day -day running of the house doesn't just fall on you, stepmom. It's really not fair, and it's not entirely your responsibility to make sure your house runs smoothly. Stepchildren absolutely need to know what their role is in your family, what chores are expected of them, and how are they expected to behave. It's your and your husband's job to lay this out for them. There's no such thing as too young to start implementing discipline and expectations in your house. We'll talk about this more tomorrow, but for today, we're focused on you. It's very important that you take a step back and realize how important it is that you reconnect with the woman that you used to be before you were a stepmom. What makes you tick? What fills your cup? In today's workbook, we're going to take a look at the things that make you happy, and then you're going to start doing them all the time. Think back to the days in your life when you were the happiest. What did you do for yourself on a regular basis? Fast forward to your life now. What do you do for yourself to take care of yourself? How often do you put yourself above the needs of others? If you don't, why not? What are you doing in your life that is making you feel unimportant? Are you doing these things with the hopes of changing how other people see you? Or are you doing them because you genuinely want to? Do you feel like you are less important to your husband because you're his second wife? Has he done anything to make you feel this way or is it stemming from your own insecurities? It's so important to realize that he chose you. He may have been married before, but I can bet that that probably makes him a better husband to you now. Recognize the lies that you're telling yourself. Stop beating yourself up and embrace the queen that you are. Stop doing everything for everybody else. The first step to getting there is to start putting yourself first. I promise it feels amazing to be your own number one. Go ahead, jump into our Facebook group and grab your worksheet for today. I have an idea for your Instagram post for the day. Why don't you take a picture of whatever it is that you decide to do for yourself. Maybe you're gonna take a quiet bath with a glass of wine. Maybe you'll go for a walk or hit a yoga class or go to the gym. It doesn't have to be a picture of this, but I would really love to see how you decide to take care of yourself today. Make sure to tag me at the step queen and use our challenge hashtag break free so I can see what you've been up to. 
I'll see you back here tomorrow for our final day together where we're going to talk about your relationship. Developing and maintaining couple strength is so important in a step family. It's very common for the demands of step family life to erode away the bond you and your partner once shared. But don't worry, it's possible to build it back up. I'll teach you how tomorrow.